How weird. It looks so weird with my legs like this. I have feet growing out of my shoulders. Okay. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mina. Um, this is part one of a multi-part series. I don't know how many parts it's going to be where I show you how I try and figure out how to make a cardigan. So many of you have requested a cardigan tutorial and I have never made a cardigan before. I don't know how to make a cardigan. Um, but I'm going to figure it out and I thought that I could take you on that journey with me because up until now what I've been doing is I've been thinking of patterns and then usually I, I'll test it and then I will upload a tutorial but I'm realizing now that that is not a very good strategy because knitting takes such a long time it's such a slow process and if I kept on going at that pace, I just can't really upload much content and the algorithm doesn't like that. So I decided that for this video, for this series, I will take you on the journey of trying to figure out how to make a cardigan. And if it turns out good, I will make a tutorial as well, but yeah. If it turns out bad, then I won't make a tutorial, but you can see where it, you know what? If it turns out bad, what I'll do is I will make a video of myself modeling my bad cardigan and we can all have a little laugh about how sometimes our projects don't always work. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. That's a good idea. I promise. Okay, um, let's get started. Yay! <laughs> so here is my inspiration. I've really been enjoying this multicolored, block colored trend that's popular lately. I like that you can use up scrap yarn if you want to, plus it gives you a lot more flexibility just to play around and experiment. In terms of the shape, I'm going to go with the Unif cardigan with the collar. The V-neck style is also nice, but I, I just like this collar. I think it's really cute. So I'm gonna try and recreate my version of this. So I bought this rainbow pack from Hobby. Uh, it comes with 10 different colors and usually it costs 23 euros but I bought two packs so I got it for 19 euros and 32 cents so that comes to just under two euros per ball I'm gonna start by knitting a gauge swatch with this color here because it's my least favorite. This is the recommended needle size and I'm gonna go with four millimeters for the gauge swatch. just mm, about 10 centimeters all 
Alrighty, let's try and block it. So this is a plan that I drew up. So I just wanted to pause quickly here to add that I based my plan off of the famous Harry Styles cardigan. And you can actually download the pattern for that for free on the JW Anderson website. And this cardigan is a bit different from mine. It is a patchwork cardigan, which mine is not, but the basic construction is the same. So I had a good look at this pattern and that's how I figured out what kind of shape I wanted the various pieces to be. Okay, so now back to my own plan. So based on the gauge swatch, I know that one centimeter is equal to two stitches uh, wide and one centimeter is equal to 2.6 rows high. I want my cardigan to be 44 centimeters wide and 38 centimeters long. That's just based on some measurements I made of my own body and some other clothes that I own. So this is the left front and this is the right front. And each piece is going to be 22 centimeters wide in total. But I'm going to knit the button band separately at the end and it's going to be 2 centimeters. So therefore this piece will only be 20 centimeters wide and therefore I'm going to cast on 40 stitches. The pieces are going to be approximately 100 rows and then each section here I've just calculated I want the ribbing to be 13 rows, the bit between the ribbing and where the decrease starts to be 68 rows uh, and then from when the decrease starts to the cast off edge, I want it to be 19 rows. Um, this bit here at the top, I want to be 12 centimeters wide. So that's 24 stitches, which means we need to decrease a total of 16 stitches from here to here. Um, yeah, I know this is a bit messy. Hopefully that makes sense. I might change it as I go along. So it's just kind of a guide to, to gently guide me in the right direction. These are the colors I want to work with, uh, very similar to the Unif sweater. And I'm going to start with the purple for the front pieces. So here I am casting on. Uh, and if you watched my previous video, you'll know that I recently discovered why many patterns ask you to use smaller needles for the rib stitch portion of a garment. That is because a single rib stitch is larger than a single stockinette stitch when knit using the same size needles. So I am knitting the body of this cardigan with four millimeter needles, like my gauge swatch. But for the ribbing, I started off with 3.5 millimeter needles. And then I decided to compare the 3.5 millimeter ribbing with three millimeter ribbing. And you can't really see the difference here, but 
I decided to go with the three millimeter because the stitch size matched more closely to the stockinette stitches in my gauge swatch. So once I finished the ribbing, I then knitted 68 rows in stockinette stitch. So now it is time to start decreasing. So I'm working on the right piece, so I need to do a right leaning decrease. Uh, so if you recall from my plan, I need to decrease 16 stitches across 19 rows, which means that I need to decrease one stitch per row on average and then I have three extra rows where I just won't do any decreases. So there are basically two ways I can go about this. I can either knit three together on the knit rows which is a decrease of two stitches and then not decrease on the purl row or I can knit two together on the knit row and then I can do some kind of decrease on the purl row as well. And I don't know what the equivalent decrease is on the purl side, so I'm going to try the first option of knitting three together on the knit side. And I'm almost out of my first ball of purple, so that did not last as long as I expected and I'm probably going to have to um, use stripes for the other side because I'm not going to have enough purple. Okay, so this is what the knit three together decrease looks like and I don't really like the look of it, so I decided to just knit a little sample um, I looked up how to do the pearl version of this decrease uh, and here it is here doing on every knit row doing a knit two together decrease and then on the pearl side doing a pearl two together decrease which is the mirror decrease on the pearl side and I think this actually looks a lot neater like it just looks nicer than this one here so I'm going to undo this and I'm going to go with this technique instead. Yep, all right. And the first piece is done. And the weather is so beautiful today, so I'm going to go outside and find somewhere sunny to knit. Mm -hmm. 